Ever wondered what happens if you ingest snake venom? It's a question that might sound outlandish, yet it's one that sparks curiosity. Snake venom, a lethal cocktail of toxins, serves a critical role in a snake's survival. It's their tool for hunting and self-defense. But what if this deadly substance finds its way into a human body? Not through a bite, but through ingestion. The thought alone is bone-chilling, isn't it? Fear not, we're here to explore this intriguing topic. Let's dive into the science behind it. And Snake venom is a cocktail of toxins, each with a unique effect on the human body. Snake venom is far more than just a simple poison. It's a complex blend of different toxins, each designed to incapacitate in its own unique way. Let's delve into the composition of snake venom to better understand its impact on the human body. First up are neurotoxins. These are the real game changers. They target the nervous system, interfering with the communication between nerves and muscles. Imagine a telephone line being cut off, leaving you without any means to make a call. That's what neurotoxins do to your body. They block signals, leading to symptoms like muscle weakness, paralysis, and in severe cases, respiratory failure. Next, we have cytotoxins. These bad boys have one mission, to destroy cells. They cause local tissue damage around the bite area, leading to swelling, bruising, and blistering. In the worst case scenario, they might cause necrosis, which is a fancy way of saying cell death. Then there are hemotoxins. These toxins target the blood and the body's ability to clot. They can cause internal bleeding and disrupt the normal coagulation process. Picture a river flowing smoothly, then suddenly a dam breaks, causing chaos. That's what hemotoxins do. They disrupt the smooth flow of blood, causing havoc in your body. But it's not always doom and gloom. Some toxins found in snake venom like disintegrins and PLA2 enzymes are being researched for their potential benefits in medicine. They could potentially be used to treat conditions like heart disease, blood clots, and even cancer. So it's clear that snake venom is more than just a lethal substance. It's a cocktail of toxins that can cause a spectrum of effects on the human body, from paralysis to cell death and even potentially life-saving medical breakthroughs. So, what happens when these toxins enter our body through ingestion? Oddly enough, swallowing snake venom may not be as deadly as you think. You see, there's a fundamental difference between venom injection, like a snake bite, and venom ingestion, or swallowing it. While both methods introduce venom into your body, they do so in very different ways. When a snake bites, its venom is directly injected into the bloodstream, bypassing your body's primary defenses. This immediate access to your circulatory system allows the venom to swiftly spread and wreak havoc. It can affect your heart, nervous system and muscles, leading to the severe symptoms associated with venomous snake bites. On the other hand, if you were to swallow snake venom, your body would treat it like any other substance you consume. It would first encounter your digestive system, which is well equipped to neutralize many toxins. The acids in your stomach, for example, can break down some components of the venom, rendering them harmless. However, this doesn't mean that all venom toxins are neutralized by digestion. Some can resist the harsh environment of the stomach, and if they're absorbed into your bloodstream from your digestive tract, they could still cause harm. It's also important to note that any cuts or sores in your mouth or throat could allow the venom direct access to your bloodstream, bypassing the digestive process entirely. Furthermore, while the risk of severe reactions is generally lower with ingestion than with injection, it's still possible to have an allergic reaction to the venom. This could result in symptoms ranging from mild discomfort to anaphylaxis, a severe and potentially life-threatening allergic reaction. So, while swallowing snake venom might not be quite as dangerous as getting bitten by a venomous snake, it's far from safe. There are too many variables at play, and the potential for harm is still significant. However, this doesn't mean you should add snake venom to your morning smoothie. It's always better to avoid contact with venom in any form, whenever possible. After all, it's not a risk worth taking. Let's imagine you accidentally ingested snake venom. What happens next? The moment snake venom comes into contact with your mouth, it starts interacting with the cells lining your digestive tract. While our stomach acids are designed to break down food, they may not fully neutralize the venom, allowing some of its toxic components to potentially cause harm to your digestive system. 
This could result in symptoms such as abdominal pain, nausea, and vomiting. But what about the bloodstream? Could the venom seep through the lining of your digestive tract and into your circulatory system? The answer is, it's possible, but not very likely. Venom is a complex mixture of proteins and enzymes, and most of these molecules are too large to pass through the walls of your stomach or intestines. However, if you had a pre-existing condition like a stomach ulcer or a tear in your intestinal lining, the venom could potentially enter your bloodstream, leading to more serious effects. So what happens if the venom does make it into your bloodstream? The effects can vary greatly, depending on the type of snake and the specific components of its venom. Some venoms can cause blood clotting, leading to strokes or heart attacks. Others can disrupt nerve function, causing paralysis or even respiratory failure. In the worst case scenario, the venom can cause multiple organ failure, which can be fatal. Lastly, let's not forget about the risk of an allergic reaction. Even if the venom doesn't directly cause harm, your immune system may still react to it. In some cases, this can result in anaphylaxis, a severe allergic reaction that can be life-threatening. In conclusion, while ingesting snake venom may not be as immediately dangerous as getting bitten by a venomous snake, it's still not something you'd want to try. The potential harm to your digestive tract, the risk of venom entering your bloodstream, and the possibility of a severe allergic reaction all make this a very risky endeavor. Clearly, it's best to avoid the experience altogether. While the chances of ingesting snake venom are low, it's important to know how to stay safe around snakes. Snakes, though fascinating, can pose a risk if not treated with respect and caution. Whether you're an outdoor enthusiast or just happen to cross paths with one in your backyard, there are a few key steps you can take to minimize the risk of a snake bite. Firstly, be aware of your surroundings. Snakes can be found in a variety of habitats from forests and deserts to bodies of water. If you're in an area known for its snake population, tread carefully. Avoid tall grass, piles of leaves, rocks, and dense undergrowth where snakes may be hiding. Next, remember that snakes are more afraid of you than you are of them. They are not naturally aggressive and will usually only attack when they feel threatened. If you encounter a snake, give it plenty of space. Do not attempt to handle or provoke it. Instead, back away slowly and allow the snake to retreat. Dressing appropriately can also be a lifesaver. If you're in a snake-infested area, wear boots and long pants to protect your legs. Snakes often strike at the lower half of the body, so covering up can provide an extra layer of defense. Lastly, in the unfortunate event that you are bitten by a snake, it's crucial to seek medical help immediately. While waiting for help, keep calm and still to slow the spread of venom. Do not attempt to suck out the venom or apply a tourniquet. These methods are ineffective and can cause more harm than good. It's also worth noting that not all snakes are venomous, but it's best to treat all snake bites as if they are until proven otherwise. Remember, the best way to survive a snake bite is to avoid one in the first place. Knowledge is power and understanding snakes and their behavior can significantly reduce the risk of a dangerous encounter. Be smart, be safe, and respect these remarkable creatures from a distance. So, if you ever find yourself in a situation where you've ingested snake venom, now you know what to expect. We've journeyed through the science of snake venom, understanding its composition and the profound effects it can have on our bodies. We've differentiated between ingestion and injection, realizing that while swallowing venom might not have the immediate lethal effects as a snake bite, it's still not a situation anyone would want to be in. We've delved into the potential effects of ingesting snake venom, which range from nausea and dizziness to more severe symptoms like muscle paralysis and respiratory failure. It's clear that snake venom is not to be taken lightly. But remember, knowledge is power. Understanding the risks associated with snake venom and respecting snakes in their natural habitats are the first steps to staying safe. When outdoors, especially in areas where snakes are common, be cautious and dress appropriately. And should you ever come across a snake, keep calm, maintain a safe distance and never attempt to disturb or corner it.
In the unlikely event that you do ingest snake venom, remember that immediate medical attention is crucial. There are anti-venoms available that can counteract the effects of snake venom, but they must be administered promptly to be effective. Stay curious, stay informed, and most importantly, stay safe out there.